this final main event is brought to you and sponsored by Fairtex Fightwear and Apparel. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to welcome to the ring from Manchester, England, Josh Toby! Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the red corner from London by way of Libya, ladies and gentlemen, it's Beast Time! in the minor 69 kilogram division. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. He's representing the Spitfire Gym in Manchester, England. Please give a warm welcome to Josh Turbill! And now, ladies and gentlemen, Representing the mighty Minotaur's gym in London. He's from London by way of Libya. A man who needs no introduction in the kick and tie boxing circuit around the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Beast Salah! Okay, five to the ring. All right, guys, the main event. It certainly is. Josh Turnbull from Spitfire Gym in Haywood in Manchester and Salah the Beast Khalif from Minotaurs stroke double K here in London, England. Okay, ready guys. Ready? Ready? Fight! 
the rematch. Who's going to have this, Daz? Um, let's, let's call it early. What are you thinking early? I don't know. Josh Turbo is the hardest man I've ever come across. Really? He's been in with people that I would have wrote Josh off with and absolutely schooled them. He's getting caught early here, Daz. Yeah, but this is Josh Turbo all over. He fought Thomas McCormack and I would have put good money on it going the other way. I've known Josh a long time. I really like him. Uh, and he absolutely outclassed Thomas McCormack. Uh, and I, I couldn't have called it. Uh, I watched Salaby, Steve Long. It didn't last very long at all. Pardon the pun. Um, it was a, a bit of a left hook. It was over. Josh Turnbull absolutely whitewashed Cooper, Jack Cooper, uh, on the last Yokohama show. Um, it's getting cut there. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. I really, I can't. It's early days. Yeah. Oh, I can't call it. I really can't call it. Salah's a talent. Josh is super hard and very talented. Mate, I can't call it. Josh took the win the last outing. Salah, for me, looks like he really wants this. He's, he's out. He's off the blocks. Well, it's in front of his home crowd. I mean, Salah's been in with, with, with world-class names like Jotun Clark. When Turbo lets, puts that knee-elbow combination together, he's absolutely deadly. He's like Edward Scissorhands. Um, Salah's got great head movement, kicks well, boxes well. I don't know. Where, where have you got it, Mickey? Let, let me throw that back on you. <laughs> oh, no. Again, mate, I've no, I've no idea this is gonna, where this is going to go. They're both, they're both top quality fighters. Salah's been stopped a few times, but for me, after the, the last fight they had, for me, I think Salah is really, really hungry tonight. I think he, he's going to really bring it tonight, and he is in the first round. Yeah, I mean, he's bringing it, but he's pressuring Josh, he's just, but he's just, he's just eating three long left knees. They, you know, you can't take left knees. He's got reddening on his body. I can, I can see, see it from here. Body, yeah. You know, you can't take shots like that without it taking a toll on you. Turbo's got massive range. He's a very clever fighter. I like to say he's extremely tough. I've seen Josh Turnbull take shots that would have put most fighters asleep for a week, and he just walks through. Nice body shot from Josh. There again, the, the same part. Salah's physically slowed down again now. Yeah, it's affected him. Yeah. Jab them right to the face. Josh seems like he's warming up now. Yeah, honestly, Josh Turnbull, and he'll pardon me say he's a freak of nature. The, 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 the man is super, super powerful, super tough. Scott Chadwick there in his corner, very, very experienced Thai boxer. And then obviously in the corner of Salah, we've got Paul Taylor and Kieran Kettle. Go then second round of the main event. Bout between Josh Turbo, the rematch, Josh Turbo and Salah Khalifa. Minotaurs. What's sorry, Minotaurs? Yeah, yeah Minotaurs struck double K, I think. Again, Josh hunting that sweet spot on the left hand side of Salah's body. Does it hurt Salah there? Josh reminds me of totally different fighters, but for me, someone like Greg Wooten, I don't see him as a fighter. He doesn't look like a fighter, he but, but he's so effective. But, but believe it or not, Josh Turnbull, university, DJs in a nightclub in Manchester. They're one of the loveliest guys you'll ever meet in your life. Yeah, you'd never, you'd never have him down as a fighter, ever. He, he, he's like, yeah, he's like Greg, very studenty looking. But you would tonight. Oh yeah. Especially in the second round. Things are heating up. Salah's completely slowed down. He's changed his tack completely from the opening of round one. 
I don't know whether he's paced himself, saving himself to the later rounds. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. It seems to be going shot for shot at the moment. With Turbo definitely pushing the pace. Yeah. Josh has certainly come out a different fight this round towards the end of the last. Lovely body shot again. Yeah, again, same spot. Landing every time. Well, Josh is lucky for that. He's hunting with that long left knee and that left body hook every time. There it is. Salas, is that blood from Sellers' nose? Yeah, it's all, I don't think it's anything. Not a major about. deal, but I can see some blood. He's got an awkward, he's got an awkward style. Yeah, Josh. yeah, he has. He, he kicks from a strange angle. He doesn't kick like a conventional tie boxer. Uh, but everything, he's very venomous. Um, like I say, knees and elbows. He's like Edward Scissorhands when he gets going. Very, very powerful for such a, a, a wiry frame. Wiry's the best one, yeah, exactly. Oh, snap the head back. Josh acknowledges that. Again with a the kick there. Paul Taylor trying to get Lovely. Salah to actually come alive a little bit and attack him. Lovely body shot there from... Uh, this is a very different Salah than it was from round one. He's not really thrown much at all no. in this round. It looks to me like the nerves are kicked in for Salah in the second round, although although his arms there show different. But I don't know his nerves, I don't know his pace himself. I don't know whether that kidney shot on the left hand side has actually hurt him. But he's certainly, certainly slowed down. He's gotta be in pain. He's, you can see you can see the uh, pinking up of his body there. in round three what a main event we've got here Salah getting caught early on yeah. this is this is eating up Jesus yeah I'd like to see Salah come alive a little bit now and start taking the fight too Josh this is what Josh does he just runs away with it he takes people out with the rhythm and that's a big, big elbow. elbow big elbow and oh nearly elbow for elbow then but he caught he caught Josh he caught Josh there sorry Josh caught him with a left body hook before the elbow, yeah. And then Salah obviously returned the elbow to the back of Josh's head. Both fighters seem to have come out this round. Oh, 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 no. that's a massive elbow to the chin of Salah. Doesn't seem to have bothered him though. Spike elbow from Salah. Josh looks for the long knee. Oh, yeah, no, no, it's that body shot, it's that body shot we were talking about. Eight count here. I think Josh is probably going to stop him now. I mean, Salah for me, if he's, if he's winning the fight, he seems to have a head on him and he seems to be able to be an unbelievable fighter. But if he's losing the fight, his head seems to go. Yeah. He seems to, to give in, if you like, sometimes. I, I, I think Salah's hurt to the body where Josh has been working it. There it is. He's hurt. I think Salah's given up. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. It's over. Josh again. So for me, Salah give up after round one. Yeah. First round he came out, he came out, he looked 
he looked good in the first round and then when, when he started getting a few shots started getting hurt in the, in the solar plexus and he just seemed to throw the towel himself and 24 seconds completed of the third round. Your referee, Jesse Saunders, has stopped the contest, leaving Salah in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner by TKO, fighting out of the blue corner, is Josh Turville! Again, you know, he was a better man on the night. Um, lesson learned, don't fight during Ramadan. Um, thank you for everyone who's come to support me, Team UK. Yeah, thank you. Well done, Josh. Well done, Salah. Well done, my man. Josh! Come here, my friend! Woo! Why do you always start slow and take us into this full sense of security? And then finish up doing that. And you know, it's just uh, the way I fight, I guess. The way I've always fought. I've always been a slow starter. You know, try and hold them into a bit of a false sense of security and then just pick it up. Sella's hands look really strong in the beginning of that. Good boxing. Was you a bit wary of that? Yeah, I mean, he, he did move a few good jabs, but none of them hurt me, to be honest. I didn't, they weren't painful punches. I didn't, like, they didn't rock me at all. So I just thought, if he's, that's all he's got, I, I, could, I can take them all day. So, it, 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 it was sharp, but, but I'm, I'm really surprised how the fight turned out, to be honest with you. I didn't think it'd be so easy. I, I was kind of coming into the fight expecting to lose. Honestly, I was. Really? I, 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 I didn't think I'd lose, but... He's, he's fought Yodson and Clyde lately. He's had some really high-end opponents. But Josh Turbill, up there with the best of them, my friend. Yes, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this show is revenge or repeat, OK? This is repeat, wasn't it? Yeah, that's good. Alright, Josh, we'll see you again in the Muay Thai Grand Prix. Well done, my friend. Thanks for everyone who came as well. Thanks a lot. One last time, everyone. Josh Turbill, Super Kim, everyone.